Hi Eagles, Michelle here. We wanted to give you some information and help you prepare a bit for the speaking competitions in this summer's global finals. Let's get into it. The speaking section is divided into two parts, the persuasive solo speaking challenge and the debate challenge. So for the persuasive speaking challenge, the topics are given ahead of time and they are based on your resources, your film and your book. This section is worth 45% of your total speaking score. All Eagles have specific time limits in which to speak based on their level, Teen Eagle 1, Teen Eagle 2, and Teen Eagle 3. There is one speech on this topic that you've been given only, and this is a solo competition. It's being scored on task response, organization, cohesion, lexical range and grammatical resources, and pronunciation. Once this section is completed and scored, we move on to the persuasive speaking showcase. In the showcase, we bring the top six scorers from six different countries onto our global finals stage. They are given a different persuasive speaking topic again ahead of time so you have time to prepare. This section is not scored as part of your total score. The prizes are different for the showcase round. So everyone will speak on their given topic and a winner will be chosen. On the other side, we have our debate challenge. The debate challenge is similar in that topics are given ahead of time, as are your stance, meaning your side, are you for or against this topic, and your opponent. You'll have time to prepare, knowing all of that information. It's still based on the resources, and this section is worth 55% of your total speaking score. All Eagles will speak in a certain time frame to defend their ideas on the given topic. This is a one-on-one -on -one debate format. So that means that it's going to be you defending one side of an argument against another person defending the, of the other side, the opposite side of that argument. And the sections in the debate are introductory remarks, the rebuttal and closing arguments. We're gonna get into those more deeply a little bit later. This section is scored on respect for the other team, use of information, understanding of the topic, your rebuttal, and the organization and debate language. Once this competition is finished and scored, we move on to the debate challenge showcase. In this showcase, Similar to the Persuasive Speaking Showcase, the top six scorers from six different countries are invited to our global final stage. However, this is different in that the Showcase Debate Challenge is a team challenge. So again, ahead of time, you will be placed into two teams, three on three. You'll be given your topic, your teams and your stance ahead of time. So you will be able to prepare. In this team debate, you will also be given a new set of rules so that you know exactly how long you have to speak and you will each decide who is going to deliver each section. And again, this is not part of your total score. The judging for this and the prizes are separate. So let's dive a little deeper into the Persuasive Speaking Solo Challenge. As you can see on your screen, for each Teen Eagle group, there's a different time range in which you have to speak, with Teen Eagle 1 being between 60 and 90 seconds, Teen Eagle 2, 90 and 120 seconds, and Teen Eagle 3, 120 and 150 seconds. These are your time limits when you're performing your speech. What's important to remember in this section is how to organize yourself to deliver this speech in a way that's gonna score you high points. 
So you're again, you're given your topic with time to prepare. You can research your resources to get some supporting evidence that's going to help you deliver this speech in a better way. You should organize your thoughts according to this little thought tree you can see on the presentation. You want to make sure that you start out with a thesis statement. A thesis statement is basically your main idea, your main singular answer to your question. It's normally one sentence and it makes it very clear what your answer is. After that sentence, you need to support and defend what you just said. You should probably have at least two supporting facts. These are examples or instances from your resources that will help us to agree and believe in your thesis statement. You could also add further examples or further details underneath your supporting arguments to reinforce and restate your ideas. So again, one main idea, one main answer and support that answer. Again, as we discussed before, you're being scored based on these five different categories that you can see. And let's just take a look at them so you understand exactly how you need to answer this question. So for task response, did you properly answer the question? And did you use the resources to support your ideas? That's what we just discussed. Organization. Did you organize your speech in a way that was easy to follow? You had a main idea and a support. This is very important for people to be able to follow your answer. Cohesion. Do your ideas link together with logical, correctly used transitional phrases? This is things like, however, additionally, moreover. These are very helpful to connect your sentences together. Lexical and grammatical range. Is your grammar correct? Did you use appropriate vocabulary to answer your question? And pronunciation. Was your speech clear and easy to understand? Continuing with the persuasive speaking solo challenge, you'll see here a list of useful language. It's categorized based on how you will use it in your speech. These are options. Many alternatives exist. You can take a look at them and decide which ones might be right for your speech. Also, I've added here a list of tactics on how to be more persuasive. So again, the goal is to make the audience agree with you and believe in your points. To do that, it's very important to speak directly to your audience and connect with them. You're going to want to maybe repeat a key point or an important word, as this will reinforce it in your audience's minds. Ask a direct question to your listeners. It's a great way to close a speech as well. Leave them with something to think about. Using strong language is a good way. For example, superb instead of saying very good. Be specific. You don't want to leave any space for people not to understand you. You need to support your ideas with points from the resources, as we have mentioned. The concept of pathos is important here. You want to use emotive language. Emotive language helps people to feel what you're saying instead of just hearing it. And lastly, you need to be confident. I know this is hard. Public speaking is hard. But stand up straight and speak from your chest. Here, you're going to see an example topic for the persuasive speaking section. Again, they're always based on your Teen Eagle resources, and this is just an example. So look at the prompt, and let's read it together. 
what is the most important message in the film ABCD and how did it affect the main character? Okay, let's look at the question first. This is a persuasive prompt because it's not asking a direct question. An example of one that does ask a direct question is, what did the main character do first after she arrived in the city? So that question has one singular correct answer. There's nothing to persuade about. It's based on a fact. Our above question in our prompt, it could have more than one possible answer. So we have to convince our listeners that our answer is the correct answer. So below you'll see a sample answer. Of course, there are many alternatives that could exist. This is just a sample. But you will see in this sample that I've used a lot of tactics from the previous page. So try to identify, as I'm saying it, which tactics from the previous page you can see. The single most important message in ABCD was that we need to have confidence in all that we do. Confidence was the key. This is evidenced by the fact that the main character consistently failed when she didn't show confidence and was only able to succeed when she finally did. Her confidence was exhibited most clearly in the speech in the end of the film on stage at her school, wherein she was brave and spoke strongly and clearly enough to convince her audience that she was, in fact, correct. There were, of course, other themes and messages in the film, but the one we saw over and over again and the one that had the biggest effect on our protagonist was the message of confidence being key. Now we move to the debate competition. This competition is similar to the solo persuasive speaking competition in that the main goal here is still to convince your audience that you are in fact correct in your statements and ideas. It differs in that now we're competing against another debater who strongly believes in the opposite point. So you must now be able to support your ideas while discrediting or disproving theirs. So now let's take a look at what happens in each of the three sections. So first, in the debate competition, there is an introduction or introductory remarks. In this section, debaters, they introduce their side of the argument, clearly stating their stance or their side. Are they for or against the main prompt? They outline why they believe their position is correct using examples from the resources. Next, we have a rebuttal section. In the rebuttal section, the speaker is going to directly respond to what the opposing team or person has just said in that first round. They are now trying to disprove what the opponent has said. So in this section, you should use examples and evidence to prove why they are wrong. You're not talking about why your side is right anymore. You're talking about why their side is wrong, incorrect. Then for the closing arguments, the final section in the debate competition, the debaters go back to proving they are right. They're using any new strong points that have come up maybe during the rebuttal section. This is your last chance to make the judges or the audience members believe that your side is the correct side. You can see here the debate structure and timing outlined in the chart where we have speaker one and speaker two. 
in this chart, of course, one of them is for side and one of them is the against side of the prompt. And you'll see how many seconds they speak for and generally what you're talking about. For the debate competition, your score is based on five different categories. The first one is respect for the other team. Were you respectful? Did you use polite language and body language? Also use of information or resource information. Were you able to defend or support your points using correct and logical details from the resources? Understanding of the topic. Did you correctly understand the topic and answer in a correct way that proves that understanding? Organization and debate language. Was your speaking organized? Did you use a thesis statement and support sentences? Did you use debate language to enhance your speech? And the rebuttal. Were you able to effectively disprove or discredit the opposition's arguments? Now here you'll see a list of some useful debate language. They are divided into different sections of the debate and what they are used for opening statements, supporting arguments, building on points during the rebuttals and in your concluding statements. Of course, there are many alternatives. This is not an exhaustive list, but it can help you get started in forming professional sounding debate sentences and arguments. This is some more phrases for argument development. And again, they're categorized into stating an opinion, expressing agreement to later disagree, highlighting a consequence, expressing concern, or making a call to action. Sometimes a call to action is a really good way to engage your audience and make them listen to what you're saying. Now we move on to the debate showcase. The debate showcase is our on stage event at the global finals. This comes after your debate competition has been scored. In this showcase, the top six scorers from six different countries are invited to compete on our final stage. This debate, however, is a team style debate and will be done as a three on three debate. So meaning three members of one team against three members of another team. The entire debate is basically the same. The sections are the same, the introductory remarks, the rebuttal and the closing arguments. But now each of those sections is done by a different team member. Your teams, your stance, and your topics are determined ahead of time so you have some time to practice before the debate showcase begins. And you can see in the chart on this slide that for each Teen Eagle level, there are slightly different amounts of time in which you can speak in the showcase debate. So moving on here, this is a debate topic sample. So a debate topic is always going to be a question that has two or more possible answers. In a debate competition, one side is for, meaning they agree with the topic, and the other side is against, meaning they disagree with the topic. Here is our example topic we're gonna to look at together. In the book, the parent was wrong to enter their child's bedroom without permission. So this topic will be given. A coin flip will determine if your, you or your team is for or against. And then for this topic, our for side will defend this topic as is. They will agree with it. They will list reasons and examples why parents should ask permission or should respect privacy. And they will use examples 
and points from the resources to support why what they're saying is correct. On the other hand, our against side will oppose this topic. They will argue, for example, that parents don't need or shouldn't require permission as they are just taking care of their child and making sure they're safe, etc. All while using evidence from the resources to support their ideas. Both sides are going to use facts, evidence, strong language, and our other topics we've talked about to defend their ideas. This showcase is scored the exact same way as the debate competition, the same categories, the same scoring systems. Keep in mind that in a debate competition, especially with teams, respect is at the forefront and using respectful language and respectful gestures is very important. So to see all of this season's persuasive speaking prompts and debate topics, please check out our website. Thanks, and we hope to see you at the global finals.